now that we have the first uh, part of the, the, the rig, these proportions, it's just going to be the base, I want to make a step back and make an overview of how we're going to continue from here because there is some parts that I, I think it's important to, to understand. So I'm just going to go to this uh, board here and let's just let me let me prepare this image like this so we will use it as a reference so we can put there so basically now that we have this um this base in place we need to think how to we're gonna organize the rest so uh, here the, the 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 trick is to go from small to bigger or from inner to outer so basically we did first the first pass it's the other path and why i did this the first well i think it's the easiest to do and it's um also it makes sense because we're gonna plug from from now on to this one all this stuff and when i meant to be from small to bigger it's like for instance we have some areas that are self-containing other areas and we when we want to create these kind of rigs that can be very flexible we need to thing how these areas are contained in other areas so for instance you will see i think clearly so we have the eye the eye it's it's the let's say the this area here so the eye is inside another bigger area that we can define like for instance this one here with the eyebrow and then maybe this area here can be contained in another bigger area that contains both eyes and then we can think this area here like it's the top area and the same for the nose we have whoops we have the these areas here that are smaller then we contain this in this bigger area same for the lips we we can think the lips we have several different layers so we have, for instance, the, the one that we're going to control the lip. And then we're going um, we to we uh, have another one that is around the mouth. And then it's the jaw. And so on. So we can, we can have this construction. So things inside other things. And um, the most important is to have this clear. So when we connect the order of deformation that it's important how you process these layers of deformers or these layers of uh, little rigs stuck in top of one of the other the layered rigging system you need to think about these areas so if you plug in the wrong order it's going to create a different like weird deformations and for instance if we want to scale the eye but we want to rotate it so if we we have um, let me move here this is a little laggy this uh board okay so if we have this this eye it's super fun super laggy and we squeeze it let's say and now we want to rotate this shape of course it's gonna create this like oval shape and you cannot rotate it anymore so that's the problem so first you want to rotate the eye let's say you want to make the eye that it's looking oh come on this super okay so i want to make the eye look this so it's rotating in that direction so and then i want to squeeze it so that's the right order because first i have the sphere rotating and then squeeze on in place so that's what, what i meant what, what i meant with this order of deformation you need to think on that first okay so now we're gonna do this on the next steps we're gonna start thinking how we put one uh, part inside the other we not necessarily go now from the smallest one so we can build that uh from bigger to small or, or small to bigger so that's not like the big problem so you you but you need to think that okay this part is going to go inside this part and because it's going to go inside i i want to have this part first so that's the reason because yeah i start with this one because it's the easiest one and also we, we're going to 
put everything on top of this one okay so that's enough for this uh, video I think it's the theory it's uh, yeah it's a bit boring so let's jump to the next one and continue with the next step